Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 6, but you know the timing is fluid. So, and this reading may or may not resonate with every single person, okay? It's not sign specific and it's not time specific. This is what is coming in. This is what I am picking up on. Uh, I know that I have to do the the rest of the uh, Mays, the second ones. You know, I already did one round for May, uh, but the second readings for May I have to do, uh, oh, what is it, eight more of them. I've been buried with, I opened up more readings for private, uh, more private, I've opened up more slots for private readings and I've been buried, so yeah. So anyway, what do we have for a message today? So it's on the agenda to get those done, uh, hopefully before the weekend, the second round of uh, readings for May. If you already did one round, so if you're looking for a May reading for your sign, you can go to my playlists and you will find it there. The Harrow font reversed. So this is somebody that is having a hard time doing the right thing due to society under a lot of social pressure. Maybe being controlled by a father figure or a person that is an authority. This is being disgraced. This is being in a state of fear. You know, when you get the hair off front reverse, we could have somebody that is in a marriage or a commitment that they don't really want to be in, but they're under a lot of social pressure to stay there, or they feel like they are. There's, there's fear of being disgraced. But there is a relationship that is no longer on the same page. This is also could be that we have somebody here that doesn't believe in themselves. Definitely fear, fear based, fear of what society is going to think, period. So and this could be fear of commitment because of society, whatever it is. This is poor counsel as well. Somebody may have received some information from somebody that isn't a very good counselor, isn't a, isn't it very spiritual. This person isn't spiritual. This person is, isn't awakened. Okay, very much socially driven. So somebody may have received some advice from somebody that is driven by society. You know, it's all about society and what everybody else thinks. We have a lot of people that are not awakened yet. They're not. They're living in that 3D world and it's all about, you know, things and uh, competing with the neighbors and worrying about what everybody else thinks. So he's definitely, I think the majority is still in that state of mind. So you got to be careful about who you're getting advice from. I mean, if you're if you're getting it, you could be getting advice from somebody thinking, you know, that they're giving you good advice, and they're not. They're not. This is somebody that is not awakened, that um, isn't very spiritual, very much in the uh, realm of. 3D. If you don't know what that means, look it up. But they're not three-dimensional. They're not awakened at all. Anybody that stays in a commitment or a marriage because of social pressure has a, isn't awakened. They're not awakened. They don't know how to honor their soul. Ten of Cups. And this is about a relationship. It is definitely about a relationship. staying because of the home, the children, but tens are completion. Okay. A lot of people forget to mention that tens are completion. So I think we have a, we have a, we have a relationship problem here and I don't care if this is upright or not. Tens are a completion. So I think somebody is staying in a commitment or a relationship because of the children. I don't know who that is for. Knight of Wands reversed. Now this Knight of Wands reversed, that is reckless behavior. Show off, boasting. <laughs> Looks really good on the outside, doesn't it? It looks really, really, really good on the outside. It looks fantastic. It does. It does. Somebody has, it's funny that I said competing with the neighbors. On the outside, it looks so, so good. But it's not. 
It is not. There could even be some violence when you get the Knight of Wands reversed. Forceful. We have somebody here, here, here that has the chip on a chip on their shoulder. They're overly competitive. They want to have that white picket fence, right? And, and present it to be wonderful to the world. This is highly competitive. Competing with the Joneses. Competing with the neighbors. We have somebody here that is highly co competing with the world, right? Competing with everybody else. Somebody that is definitely in the 3D, not very spiritual. On the inside, it is definitely not what it looks like on the outside. There could be some violence. There's, there's recklessness. There's force. There's... Uh, trouble put it that way things may be getting getting out of control somebody may be going out of control to make it look you know more than it really is now this could be a sudden departure it could be a sudden departure the knight of wands reverse there could be a sudden departure from the home somebody could be leaving the home leaving the marriage okay leaving the commitment whatever it is all is not as it seems, tell you that. Six of Swords reversed. Now, this is reluctant to move on. What's trouble? Staying in this troubled relationship, this troubled commitment. Somebody is reluctant to move on, even though it's very troublesome. And it's because of fear, obviously, because of social pressure, because of ego, because of pride, because of, you know, oh, we made it up to look so good. This is embarrassing. It is, it's a disgrace. It's a disgrace to themselves because it was so fake. So they're staying in this situation that is very rocky. It's very, very rocky. It's very troublesome. Okay? There's trouble. It's rocky. It's dangerous, perhaps. It's just not... It's scary. It is scary. I feel like it is a scary situation. I feel like it's... And if it's not scary, it's just... It's, it's very rocky. Okay? There's turbulence, but it looks good. looks good to the naked eye. It looks good to us. It looks good to the people driving down the road. Right? Three of coins reversed. But there's no teamwork. There's no togetherness in this home. These people don't really get along. They don't really respect each other. They're not on the same page. We definitely have a relationship where there's a couple people that are not on the same page. There's a lack of harmony in this home. But I'm not going anywhere because of the social pressure. Because they may have received advice from their father or uh, somebody that lives in the 3D world. This is no, you must stay. You must stay. You must stay in that unhappy relationship. You must stay in that unhappy commitment. You must. You must. That person that gave that information is not awakened. If there's a lack of communication and there's a lack of togetherness and there's a lack of peace, okay? It looks like there's a lack of peace on the inside. Why would you stay? Because you were told to? Because of fear. Definitely have a relationship that is not on the same page. It's very, very clear. The star. This is a card of hope. Renewal. This is going right here. Somebody is, is hoping for renewal. Hoping that things will get better, right? Hoping things will change. Well, it's good to hope, right? Hope is all you can have at this point in this situation. Hoping. Wishing. Mm. This is help. 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 Because the star comes after the, after the tower. So this is help. Help arriving. Right? 
five of swords. Look at that. You gotta stick. You gotta stand up for yourself. You gotta stand. You gotta protect yourself. You gotta speak your truth. You gotta face your demons. You look at that's a, that's an angel right there. I believe that there is help. I do. I haven't seen angel on any of these cards yet, but that is an angel. And I said help arriving. It feels like there is somebody that uh, an angel, maybe somebody that in the star. I will often resemble that as somebody that has passed away, maybe guiding somebody to protect themselves. I think we have somebody here that is about to take their power back or they're thinking about it they're being guided to the star guides right but it was it doesn't a uh, star guides they're being guided to uh, protect themselves to do what's right for them I think we have an abusive individual here this guy's abusive we have an abusive individual that is going down. This guy's going down. He's abusive. He is. He or she or whoever it is. This person is abusive. And, and, and this, I feel like this is some, a help arriving. Giving somebody, I don't know, the strength or something like that to... Take their power back. How you like me now? I mean, that's what I see. How you like me now? Interesting. Um, whew. Defeat some defeat. I, we have a host. I think this is kind of hostile. It is. I think this is kind of hot on the in on the outside. It looks good, but on the outside, it's hostile. There could be where you know this this person. Um, is guided to protect, I feel like guided to protect himself, speak their truth, do what they have to do. I feel like there's a bully. There's been some sort of bully here. And this bully is going down. I feel like the bully is going down. King of Coins. She, this person is taking this person down. Taking this person down. And this guy is defeated. Defeated by this uh, being, okay? This I don't know. This this is being defeated. This is a star. This is a wish. Help arriving. There's there's a commitment. There's there. This could be fear of commitment. This guy is going down. He's down for the count. She's got control. She has got control. King of coins. <laughs> Upright. So this is a wish being granted. Somebody may have been asking for help. They were hoping. They were hoping for somebody to arrive. Somebody's arriving. And I, th you know, so now the, ch the story is changing a little bit, I think. <sighs> This is a wish. Somebody has been hoping and wishing. Hoping and wishing for money, stability, security. We have a very hard worker here. Very abundant, very uh, prosperous. Has something uh, solid to offer. This person is going down. I feel like this is the same person. Uh, somebody may be getting caught up in uh, maybe even a relationship. Now I'm changing the story. I know that I am because I feel like that's what this is now. It changes and that's the way because there's hundreds and thousands of people that watch this. Now we have somebody here that has been sitting back. They've been enjoying their life, working, 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 working. Now they're, now they, they, and maybe they've been hoping and praying for something more. They had no intention of getting into a relationship, no intention of getting into a commitment, but they're defeated. 
they're defeated. They're going down. It's like they didn't they didn't intend on they didn't intend on working with anybody. They didn't intend on going getting into a relationship, but now they are. No intentions of it, it feels like. And this is reluctant to take a new approach, but reckless behavior. So somebody may have reacted recklessly. I don't know, maybe it was in a sexual manner or something, and now they're getting caught up in some 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 sort of whirlwind. Maybe it's a whirlwind uh, relationship that they weren't counting on, you know? They weren't counting on it. Interesting. So that's somebody else's story. So we're changing stories. So that's what's been going on lately, too. I've been reading for different people throughout my readings. Interesting how that's been happening. So we have a king of coins, could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, doesn't have to be, but this person is a hard worker, very loyal, very um, stable, solid, secure, takes care of himself, sitting pretty, doesn't have anything to worry about, may have his own business, but <laughs> there's lack of compromise, no compromising, no working together could be selfish this guy could be selfish just wants to work doesn't have time for a relationship doesn't have time for a relationship but the star is beauty unexpected and it's very unexpected i think that there's an unexpected opportunity that has been presented and it can't and this guy is defeated he's defeated by this angel or and whoever this angel is, I think that, yeah, I think that is exactly what has happened. He has been defeated. Uh, ah, messages, messages back and forth, things moving forward, things moving forward, change is coming, change is coming. Um, it definitely wasn't expected. Forgiving the past, leaving the past hurts behind and moving forward. Healing, putting a band-aid on, leaving the past hurts behind. Somebody is leaving the past hurts behind and they're moving forward even though it was quite unexpected. They have fallen. They have fallen. They have fallen. <laughs> Moving very fast. Moving fast. Definitely moving fast. Could be a sudden arrival. Something has happened suddenly. Something has. Was totally unexpected. This guy can't fight it. He can't fight it. He is. He cannot fight it. It's like almost like. Ah, Queen of Cups. This is the past hurt. Somebody was deal somebody in the past because this is letting go of the past hurts with somebody that didn't love them, and that's why there's fear. Had no intentions of getting in a relationship. I think we have somebody here that had no intentions of getting in a relationship. They'd closed their heart off or shut down their emotions because of a previous departure or a previous hurt. A previous hurt. But now it's like they're caught up in some sort of whirlwind and it's an emotional time as well. It's very emotional. Whoever they were, because this is letting go of the past hurts with somebody that didn't love them. And that's why they were fearful. They were fearful because whoever they were with just didn't love them. That person was mean and selfish and needy and clingy and uh, stabbed them right in the heart. So that's why they weren't looking for a relationship, wasn't looking for any sort of commitment, wasn't planning on it. But now they got this dream come true. And they're thinking about stability, thinking about a home, thinking about moving forward. But very reluctant because of the past hurts. Very reluctant because of the person that didn't love them in the past. But I think they are going to move forward and leave their past hurts behind in the person that hurt them. Even though they're having a hard time mastering their emotions because of, uh, you know, 
They weren't looking for responsibility. They weren't looking for a relationship. They weren't looking to get in a commitment. They weren't looking to get married or whatever. But now this has happened. So I don't know who that message is for. Somebody is dealing with an individual who is reluctant to get in a relationship because of their previous person that didn't love them. But now they're falling. It's almost like they're falling and they're being defeated by this person that has arrived. They can't fight this feeling. So there could be a new relationship that is happening very fast. That's for somebody. But the first message applies to another group. So take that into consideration. We have somebody here that is living a fake life. Somebody may be worried about getting married. You know, worried about getting married because what will everybody say? What will everybody say? Don't worry about that. Or somebody is worried about getting out of a marriage, getting out of a commitment because of whatever. Somebody is really worried about what everybody else is going to say. I think that would be the, the theme of this reading. What's everybody going to say? That's the biggest worry here. What is everybody going to say? That is under social pressure. Okay. But there is, there's some sort of uh, guidance here. Being guided. Somebody has, this is a dream come true. There's an opportunity to uh, well, this is a card of healing. And renewal. It's a blessing. It's a blessing in disguise. So there's a blessing that has arrived. Or it is arriving. A blessing is arriving. That you did not expect. You totally did not expect it. It's unexpected. So there's an unexpected blessing that has arrived. That cannot be ignored. So we have somebody here that is going down there. Being defeated by this. Beautiful. Whatever it is. Angel, person, they can't fight it. They cannot fight it. Cannot fight it. That is for sure. So he's thinking about his future. He's thinking about, should I move forward? Should I trust? Should I, should I have faith? Yes. Yes. That's the sun. That is yes. So there is a... a renewal here. This is happiness, a new beginning, a new life. Extreme happiness, being accepted, thinking positive, a new day, a new beginning. This is a breakthrough. Healing, moving, perhaps moving to a warm place, saying, yes, this is what I want. Yes. So there is something very beautiful coming. It's happiness. It's extreme happiness. This is a wish being granted even though uh, you may have been reluctant. You know, or there's reluctance to accept it now that it's here. It's like your wish has been granted, but now you have to accept it. So there is an opportunity for extreme happiness here. The answer is yes. We have a new beginning, period. A new beginning that is absolutely beautiful. A very interesting reading. Good luck.